Hello and welcome to a new video about networks. We're talking about wireless networks and now we came to a point which is security. Because we need security. Because we cannot simply uh, limit the, the physical access to the medium. The media is air. Uh, not even, we don't even need air. Uh, there can be also vacuum. So we cannot. Yeah? Maybe we could shield, but this is a lot of technical effort. Right? So we need security. Usually the security is done with encryption. Yeah? So we have encryption and according passphrases. This is how this is working. And encryption with passphrases. One of this uh, of the first first one one widely spread standard was this wide equivalent privacy sound good okay it's called wired equivalent privacy or also web this probably you've heard now you know what it means yeah? and it is uh, a combination of RC4 this is called this is uh, Ron's code number four this was done by Ronald L. Rivers. Uh, it is, this is not a free code, it's a security by obscurity. And yeah, so RC4 is somehow, encrypt, somehow encrypting this. There was a leakage in the 90s and this is ARC4 Arc now. ARC4, if you ever heard this, this is pretty much the same, but this is open source now. And so now we know how this is working and Continuous red on check, CRC. Yeah. However, this combination is not deemed as secure. Yeah. So usually this web uh, is working with uh, so-called 64-bit 60, effective. Uh, only 40-bit. Yeah. Or 128-bit. Code effective are in this case 104 bit and sometimes some vendors do promise 256 bit but effectively active of them are only 232 bit the rest is is clear huh? uh, so this is considered to be not secure. There are programs out there which can which can you know solve this, uh, open these networks, open this security uh, without too much effort. Uh, with a normal computer, no supercomputer needed or something like this. This is not secure, is considered not to be a secure combination. Well, so you should avoid this. So then, this means we had development of technical extensions. These are called WIP Plus. Wi-Fi protected access WPA yeah. then we have fast packet key extensible authentication protocol 
EAP, yeah? Kerberos. High security solution. There were extensions to this to this standard to make it more secure. Yeah? And then we have a successor. Yeah? Successor of this. Is on one hand I triple E dot eleven, that's the wireless LAN standard, and I. Uh, I is extension, and this this is from the IEEE or from Wi-Fi. The extension is called WPA2. Uh, both are using advanced encryption standard. Yes. Right now, we consider this is not breakable. Hmm? At least if the passphrase is, is complicated enough. If you use, I don't know, Hansi1 as a passphrase, it's probably not that secure. It all depends on the passphrase. If you use a reasonable passphrase, which is, then this is currently not breakable. Yeah. Lucky guesses are always possible. Uh, alternative to encryption on, on Wi-Fi, on, on wireless LAN level, uh, which is actually level 2, uh, would be encryption higher levels. So alternative encryption on higher levels. So this means we can read the content, we know what data is transferred, we, this is not secure, the communication on layer 2, however, we don't understand it, because it's a weird, in a weird language we cannot, we cannot understand, yeah? because the encryption is somehow on, for instance, on IPsec, IP security level, yeah, for example. In Often in, in public networks, this is a solution. And if you do, I don't know, remote banking and so on, you, or HTTPS, for instance, yeah? encrypted on HTTP level, or hypertext transfer protocol level already. Yeah? So no layer below can read anything. So that's the alternative to this. Combination is also good, maybe. Huh? So, what needs to be done to be secure? Okay. Secure setup. Activate encryption. <laughs> okay, this is there. Yeah? Even if you're using IPsec or whatever, activate encryption. At least WPA2. Okay. Use a secure password. Nothing out of a textbook, nothing, you know, there are brute force attacks where you, they simply try and so on. Reasonable length combination, you know those rules. Huh? Uh, no default. Passwords and SSIDs. If you buy a router, there is usually a default password, there is usually a default SSID, and you know, those attackers, they are not stupid. Uh, 
They are smart. And they know, aha, uh -huh, if this SSD is cold and in this and that fashion, uh, then it's probably this vendor. Uh, then you have, I don't know, a TP link or a Netgear router or whatever. They know it from, from the SSID uh, because they are experienced enough. And then they might know also, okay, there is a small flaw in the router and back access point. Uh, if you don't, Give this information, this information is hidden and they don't know. Okay? So no default password and SSID. Change them. Use Mac filter. This is this EAP. Yeah? So usually you can set up a list uh, of, of uh, MAC addresses which are allowed to connect to the wireless network. This, of course, is reducing the usability because if, they, if you have a new device, you have to enter it. If you have more than one access point, you have to enter it in one, more than one access point. There is also a solution for this because if you have to maintain a big wireless network, you cannot, it will not be finished. Yeah. So there is something called a radio server where you can put those MAC lists and so on, and then only certain devices are allowed to enter. Yeah? But this is not secure because MAC addresses might be, might be spoofed, might be changed. This is not a big issue to change a MAC address. Yeah? MAC address, we've talked about this layer 2 address and so on. It's not, it's not a big deal. Yeah? You only have to find a MAC address suitable. However, if you listen to the, to the uh, communication, you might find one. Huh? So this is only solution or in combination? Yes, good idea. Yeah. No remote configuration by Wi-Fi. Yeah. No remote means now by, by wireless. Wireless. No remote wireless configuration of router access point. Turn this functionality off. It's more secure. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. Turn off. Turn off access point. When not in use. Time management. During night, when nobody uses the access point, turn it off. Uh, firmware. Update. Yeah. And also use firewalls. Vettel. LANs. Between wireless and wired set. Wired network. Mm -hmm. Then you should have a secure setup. Right? That's it. Mm -hmm. That's security. Now you know what all those things mean. You know the development and so on. Uh, and how, if you follow all those steps, you're pretty secure, I would say, at this moment in time. January 23. All right, security. So this is the last uh, thing I wanted to tell you about uh, wireless solutions, wireless LANs, uh, and these are my two example protocols for layer 2, layer 1 and layer 2, Ethernet and wireless LAN. Now we take a little look into, into layer 3. The widely spread protocol there is used is Internet protocol, IP. Yeah. Introduction to IP, next video. For this time, Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.